Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Kaizo Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, or Communist Mocha Lover. Uh, but we got a couple things to go through. It is July 6th, 1942, and as you can see, the German Empire isn't looking too good. And to take the Germans out, I basically decided we need to go through the Benelux to take them out. Fighting across the rivers and forts in this part of the area, not a good idea. And before we get too far, as you can see, they're attacking us in a lot of locations. Casualty. Third of a million have been lost, but against the Reich's Pact, well, we're looking A-OK -okay in my book. We've got a four million Germans. Uh, what could be better than that? Uh, let's see. Yesterday we saw that Norway nearly died. The Portuguese are pretty much dead. But you know what? Well, the Russians helped us out. So, that's really good. But like I said, it's 1942. A lot of things have happened. Uh, we lost the naval invasion of Algeria and Morocco. But then the Portuguese reinvaded. Even though they have no port. Oh, that's not good. Uh, other than that, oh, we still have some guys down here too. I sent naval bombs across the world. And actually, the United Mexican States were declared war upon by the Pacific American Empire. Go figure, led by Norton II, which I don't know who that is, but every time I see the word Norton, I think of the antivirus software or whatever, so. And then the CSA, they're not with us, but they're still killing off, I guess, the Entente too, so not bad. Now, these guys aren't doing great, but hey, whatever. I did, like I said, send, send some naval bombers down here, help them out to the best of our ability. We'll see what happens, you know. Well, actually, we could use some more fighters. I actually could use a lot more fighters, actually. Couple comments, though, and uh, yeah, I'll be honest here, like, it is 42, but. Even off screen, I went and accidentally left the game running. So, <clears throat> yeah. It didn't go according to plan, but hey, not bad. I mean, like I said, we went to the Benelux. But yeah, I just left the game running by accident. I totally didn't realize that I left the game running. So that's why all the research is. Well, it is what it is. But the couple comments that, or focuses that I did off screen while doing this, including amateur pilots. No one, born, no one is born a pilot. While some study to excel at air handling and combat and their efforts are admirable, we cannot expect every single pilot to be an ace. Therefore, we must give civilian pilots and amateur pilots a chance to shine. This also includes women who would normally not be conscripted. So, not bad. Also, uh, as you can see, I've done a call de air just because I wanted extra research speed. As the air doctrine rapidly expands and air pilots go from disorganized brawls to carefully crafted engagements, we desperately be need to begin training pilots and train officers who can plan air campaigns as they plan land or naval campaigns. Our only our wits will work in this brand new field of warfare, and luckily, we have some. I've also gone ahead and done... International cooperation. While our technical expertise is one of the best in the world, it is too easy to ignore any breakthroughs that are made in friendly countries on a false pretense of superiority. From new production techniques to management theories, we should we should and must stay observant and borrow anything that could benefit our own economy. I've also done electric machines over here, which is yep. While computing traces back to the tabulating machine, we have since made massive breakthroughs in the field of computing. Our mathematicians already sure us are sure use that these new machines are of tremendous help for rapid and efficient calculus. Given some patronage and time, we can only imagine the possibilities of this new field. I have also done sense of dedication here. The worker has to realize that he is working for the greater good of the commune and the French people as a whole. He must feel invested in his work at all times, and it is, why, it is, this, and it is this way that we improve our national spirit and our productivity. No need for whips or oppressive business owners. And we also have done Department of Revolutionary Ideas, which is right here. While the empirical teachings prove themselves evilly, easily, the virtues of the commune are harder to communicate to our population. While ominous sounding, we must create an institution ready to help us remind our people the value of the revolution and prevent reactionary influences from implanting themselves. And as you can see, we're doing the Curry Project. While the Damocles Project held great promise, the refusal of the Union of Britain to take part crippled the cooperation between our scientists and theirs. Regardless, we must pers persevere and try to figure out what uses we can make of the atom. We will dedicate this project to the very woman who discovered radium and set us on, who sent us on this path. Cool. And of course, we have other things here. And obviously, uh, Office de Cayman's de Fer and the Auto Routes, they have no effect because they were supposed to give us more organization, or infrastructure, I should say. But then I accidentally already pretty much did all of it anyways off screen because I forgot about it. So it is what it is. And you can see we're trying to build up some big old naval bases so we can invade a lot of peoples, which would be good. Uh, yeah, let's do that too. And we're making some subs. 1940 subs would be very nice. Our subs are doing a good job. But let's finally continue doing a little bit more warfare, having a good old time. And hopefully we'll be piercing and going down to Bohemia to put these guys out of their uh, problems. Just kill them off, basically. Cool. All right, boys. Let's head on down to Bohemia. Good luck, and we do pretty darn well here. It always helps if he has, like, you know, air XP or air doctrine stuff, so. And, of course, we're running out of fuel, but what else is new? Ooh, look at that. Convoys. Nice. Beautiful. Good, 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 good. Hope you guys are having a good old day. I think Germany will definitely fall within the next few minutes here, just because once we make this, um, the biggest encirclement I've made in a long time here. Like, this is almost the entire German army, so. Oh, we have a random two. Nice. You just hold, and just gonna hang out. Keep going, boys. Uh... Actually, you guys might just want to keep them in place. There you go. 
Good, and they're almost there. Good. Now, these guys are all encircled. Want to watch them starve and die, maybe. If that's the case. Whee! There you go. Well, this is probably the biggest encirclement I've done, like I said, in a very, very, very long time. I'll give about five seconds that our soldiers actually themselves get readjusted, so. Cool. Bastille Day celebrations. Don't mind if we do. We're gonna need some more fuel. And that's okay. Alright, now bad. The fall of Boston. Athens of America has fallen. Good, thank goodness for the... Oh, there goes New England. The CSA. I love the CSA. Beautiful, my friends. They must have an aggression pact with the uh, Frenchies over there. I mean, if you want to help them out, I'm, I'm totally down for that. Alright, boys and girls. Oh, they're already starving for supplies. Give them a few more days, a few more weeks, maybe. Let them really starve out for supplies. We're running out of manpower at this point. We are on extensive conscription. I do not want to go to service by requirement, but it looks like we have to. So be it. It is what it is. Just because we have so much political power, I'm not sure what else to do with it. You know? Cool. And I have a cup of coffee here. To keep us nice and warm. We're still in a war with these... Wait, what happened to the Socialist Republic of Italy? Hold on. Did they unite? Um. Oh, they're fighting the Austro-Hungarians. So, Carl I. Kind of kind of handsome. Oh, inf influence of the Fatherland Front. I love the Fatherland Front. Of course, I don't, know, I don't know much about them in real life. I played them once, though. So. Ah... Uh, Go ahead, let them starve, even though starvation isn't happening super quickly, but that's okay. Give them about five days. Five. Or just kind of wa wait and watch. Uh, do we have any more planes? Actually, yeah, we do. We should have quite a few planes. Yeah, loads of fighters. I don't care big the air base is. Thank you very much. Now, nah, security project is done. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. One, two. They're going to need that. And do we have any bombers? No, we need more tactical bombers. That's something we could really work on. But, military science, shall we? France is always working on improving its research networks, but in theoretical sciences, it can only bring us so far. We will open up a new wing in the Blanqui Research Institute dedicated to military science, allowing us to find and develop new breakthroughs that will immediately be put, us, be put to use by our army. Which is a good thing. Ah, I love it. Keep bombing the crap. Because we, so need, we need to actually do a proper invasion of Africa. Oh boy, what's going on? The game was lagging extremely hard, as you can see. Oh, this will be different. This will this time will be different. Oh boy, I must suffer like this so my people will can, can come together again. All right, cool. Um, yeah, Austria. I don't know. If that's a good idea. Well, actually, that is probably a good idea for them. If that's point, go. We gotta immediately do this then. And you guys are gonna force the attack because now they have supply through here probably. Oh god, dang it, that sucks. Force, force, force. Go, 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 go. Even though, god dang it, if they didn't come and intervene in the war, we would have actually done probably pretty darn well here. I mean, we're still doing pretty well. At this point, I don't think the Germans can really do too much. I mean, yeah, our guys don't look good here either, but still. Air superiority-wise, they get all those extra planes in the air for them. Yeah, we have no tactical bombers. Where are our tactical bombers? Seriously. You say you're making them, but that's determined to be a lie. This is a gigantic mess. Uh, do we have the ciphers done for anybody here, too? No, we don't. That sucks. That really sucks. Are we out of Junkers? Alright, so be it. Yeah, that makes sense. It is 42 air doctrine wise. We can always keep doing more of this. Nice. I don't think they'll be able to actually stop us here. I mean, they're going to take a lot of losses, but at this point, we might as well. Wow, we've already killed. Oh, the Italians killed off a lot of those guys. Good. German Empire, uh, we've got a 4.3 million. And the Russians are still fighting them, and they're actually slowly pushing in as well, so... They don't have that much manpower. Obviously, we're taking a ton of losses as well, but... Uh, they, oh, the Austrians! Austria. You come into the war with no manpower. Good job, guys. Good job. Nice. Advanced artillery, not bad. Cool. Oh, what's going on down here? Oh, send a sub. Nice. Good job, guys. It is 42. We got this stuff, this stuff, which is nice. 42, 42, 42. Better guns, probably. Let's grab some more breakthrough and stuff like that. Better engineers, and let's grab some better guns. And we got more military factories, finally. There we go. Nice. Oh, Austria. Why did you have to get in the war? Why do you hate your man so much? We can do that. There you go. We can use more supplies, though. Uh, Burma. Uh, there you go. Try that. 
Chromium, Cuba, Tungsten from Iberia. Nice. Keep building stuff up, guys. You're doing a tremendous job, Arenos. Um, we're still doing a great job here, so. You get a rush duck. Kill will be ours. Yeah, I think the German Empire is pretty much dead. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything? Nice. Oh, we're going to need way more fuel after this. Let's get up 7 million, 7 million, please. 7 million. Canada has lost quite a few guys. French national state. Ooh. Follow Berlin. Verdun. Jimmy de, de Dams. Somme. They've all been avenged. Nice. Keep pushing, boys and girls. Munich is the capital now. Fortunately, those guys up north here have not uh, given up. But, hey. Fuel are finding good. Get some more rubber because we need that immediately. Collapse of the Reichs back. Le Interan National sera ben tot le Genran humain. That's a big white with any of Nope. Awesome. Alright, so we got him. I could do this pistol off screen, but I'd rather show you guys what's going on. Alright, so Russia. Russia. You can have this. You can have this. You can have Sweden. Maybe not. Uh, Flanders, Bologna. I'm just going to take all states for now. Finland? No. Russia. You can have Finland. We're going to take the Dutch states as well. Thank you. Uh, the Union of Britain, you can have all of Ireland. Norway was in the thing, so they can have that. And we'll take the rest of everything else. Nice. I love the Reichs Pact. And now, it was a massive mistake for Austria to enter this late into the war. That was a tremendous mistake. Um, I'm not sure how to divide this up, really. I apologize for the cooking. Because now we get to divide the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Or just like Austrian Empire. Nice. Does Russia have any claims on this stuff? No, German government exile. No, so. We'll just take that for now and see what happens. Maybe we'll get an event. Alright. Very, very good. Oh, the Ukraine's looking pretty thick. Nice. Head straight on in. No peace. Hold. The Marines have done a great job, which we will invade other people soon enough. We're going to burn Vienna to the ground, because we can. And you guys are still just holding here, so. I wonder if we could go to war with these guys. How long would it take? Oh, we'll take four states? Yep. And we'll take out these guys, too, so. Oh, um, there looks like there's some Moroccans here. Yeah, if you like to kill them off, that'd be great. Anything here? Anything here? Oh, what is that? The fall of Germany. For the first time, I'm ashamed to be German. Oh, boy, the end of an era. They probably said that when Hitler got elected or something. Jacques Doriot, which sounds very familiar, because I think it was a real life, was it French fascist, I think, in real life, maybe? I can't remember. Might have been. Well, I think we still want to kill off Russia, just because we can. We'll see what happens. Iron Curtain, nice. Oh! I actually played Russian Kaiserite Redux sometime. Look at that. A feast in the time of plague. Iron Curtain. Approach your old allies. Join the on. No. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. We're at war still anyway, so I don't really care. Bohemia should have a pretty good amount of manpower. Yeah, they got a little bit. They're only on lim like, limited conscription or volunteer only, so. Uh, all these places have some manpower. Not a whole bunch, but hey, what do you expect? Oh, they're on script in the barrel. Wow. Carl. Well, you deserve it, so. Uh, pretty those guys. Not bad. Japan. Clear of Asian. Cool. Not sure what these guys were expecting. Yay, tanks, more subs and convoys. Good, good, good. Come on, Mexico. Keep doing your job. Doing a fantastic job. Kill all those Canadians, CSA. Kill them off. Convoy sunk. Convoy sunk. Good, good, good. Oh, these guys have to be taken out too. Um, actually, we have the Marines here. God dang Danes. Oh, Sweden's liberated. Swedish commune, huh? Nice, the Revolutionary Committee. Oh, they're just pulling. Oh, to be Pete. Nice to the Russians. We'll give it to them, those guys. Uh, there you go. Oh, there's Estonia. There's Latvia. Cool, cool, cool. Who dares wins or while it appears? Yeah, we still need to do this stuff, but I don't want to wait till the war is over against Austria. It shouldn't take that much longer, especially with us, as well as Italians just grinding them to dust, hopefully. Nice. 
We're not quite grinding them to dust, but we'll see what we can do. Upper Savoy. Uh, yeah, we could probably just go straight on into. For the liberation of the Italian workers. Slightly more fuel for now. Thank you very much. You should be able to do pretty darn well. Are they? Huh. Yeah, those are those guys are like 40 combos or something, so. Nice. Just keep going against the Austrians. We're going to lose a lot of guys, I know. But these reactioners have got to go. Costa Rica. Yeah, look at that. Holy crap. They're just literally just going to die there. And this is the fate they've chosen, so we'll, we'll honor their, their decision. Going to hang out hold first. Oh, the tanks do the, the business first. Get some more planning done. Partitioning of Germany. Armies have defeated the Germans, and now we have to decide what to do with the lines of the former enemies. Split the country into Rhine, North Germany, Southern Germany, Prussia. Occupy the Rhineland, break up the rest of Germany. A new German Union, created a new German Union, but split off the Rhine. Move the border to the Rhine, creating the German Union. Hmm. We can't trust the Germans. Total occupation is needed. Um, occupy the Rhineland, but break up the rest of Germany. I don't like to have, like, 16 different Germanies, so new German Union. I like new German Union, but split off the Rhineland. They join us. The Red Army rises. The Rhenish Republic becomes a puppet. Move the border to the Rhine. Uh, becomes a puppet of the commune. Joins the international. Uh, move the border to the Rhine. Well, I think that one's the one we want, right? So... Nice. Now that's not bad. Even though we don't have cords on this, which makes total sense why we don't, but... Hey, Italian ships! Hey, Italian ships! Destroyer sunk. Nice. Nice. Oh, this, this happened again. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be like that. Hold for now. And we will begin another attack. These guys need more organization first, though, so it's totally okay. You guys are doing the best you possibly can right now. Military science is nice. Plenty of political power, though. Plenty of political power. I don't know, man. I kind of like the borders of how France is looking right now. We'll wait for that war against these guys. We could. I mean, we've got enough political power that doesn't matter at this point. Uh, what we're going to do next is naval reorganization program. While we currently have an acceptable navy, it's quite disorganized, preventing us from expanding it any further. We must integrate our naval forces back into the hierarchy of the communal forces. Just because we don't have a grand navy yet, does not mean we, have not, we do not have a navy. So, it'll take us some time, but that's okay. Two destroyers. So I've been planning on having maybe one more episode after this, just because I'm going to get these a couple more focuses, destroy the Entente, and destroy Aust uh, Austria, Hungary, but uh, just Austria, so. That's the main goal, I suppose. Yeah, we've lost a lot of guys so far, but... Austria must lose way more. Way, 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 way more. Do they have any forces they have up here? None. Could you actually do a general attack, maybe? You should have air superiority. Like, we got a lot of planes. I gotta get they got a lot of planes, too. But, come on. Let's break through. Let's get to, let's get to Vienna. Graz, Vienna. Man, attacking with these guys kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But we're slowly breaking through. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, we're gonna need more fuel. Um... There we go. I can't imagine these guys keeping up the battles for too much longer. Their stockpile might be okay, but the amount of manpower we're like that's grinding up against each other, it's kind of ridiculous. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. There you go. Wait, what the heck? There you go. Good. More air XP is very good. Yeah, I, I know this is a grind, and I don't want to lose this much manpower, but it is what it is. Still mobilizing? No, we're not. That's fine. Subbies. Subbies for my chubbies. Come on, boys and girls. You got this. You got this. Oh, what was that? Oh, turn the Danube red, probably. Yeah. Not bad. We still don't have working women, which is probably a bad thing to not have. I mean, it'd be better if we did have it. Oh, look, you guys. Just yeah, just go on in, guys. 
Oh, we took Vienna. Nice. That's all we really need, right? Because they're the only great power or in terms of this faction. We need Trieste. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get down to Trieste. Go, 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 go. Yep. Oh, okay. Bye, Denmark. Oh, we'll do it in that way. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Fate of Belgium, Metalux. United Flanders, Valonia. I'll be honest. I kind of like it like this. After a short campaign in Castle Martins and urban centers of the Netherlands, we managed to take down the proud nation. The Netherlands, we are now are now in our hands. We must decide our future, liberate as a whole, expand Flanders. Now, nah. direct rule from Paris. You could use more stability, though. Whoa, 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 whoa! What happened there? Oh, did uh, I think Russia went to war with them? Maybe. Oh, that's not too bad then. Come on, get to Trieste. Come on. Force them to die. Force them. Trieste, Trieste, Trieste. Wait, I'm Luxembourg. Uh, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg was formerly an independent state. During the Bell Creek, the German army occupied the Grand Duchy, which was later incorporated into the German Empire as a new state. Now, with their dominance in Europe secured, it's in our power to undo the evils of the German military regime and liberate Luxembourg. Liberate Luxembourg. Give it to our French allies. German allies. Absorb Luxembourg. Oh, yeah. I kind of like military occupation. Absorb them. The fate of Denmark. After a short campaign across the numerous islands of Denmark and the capture of its capital, we managed to take down the country. Copenhagen is now in our hands. The status of the Atlantic Islands of Denmark is a particularly interesting case to deal with. Well, anyways, well, they deal with the future of Denmark. Is it a republic? I suppose so. That probably makes sense for us. There you go. You can spend some political power if you really want to. Get to Trieste. That is the most important. Or maybe Udine. Because we're, we're losing so many thousands of men. Like, we've lost literally hundreds of thousands versus not that many. It's really pathetic of us, but still. Okay, go straight across. Nice. Get some better guns. Grab some more piercing. Get, come on, take Trieste. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill those Romanians off. Attritional containment. Nice. More recon? We should put some recon on our soldiers if we don't already have it. Okay, Italians. Just die. How many towns have we lost? We got our guys against Italy. Ah, there we go. Those guys are dead, which means it would be easier to kill off the Italians in, hopefully. Alright, so we'll give Poland anything, maybe? be quite ugly. Kingdom of the Ukraine. Romania. Uh, actually, Ukraine has that. Hmm. There you go, you can have that stuff. But for the most of this, I mean, it was just pretty much all of us, so. There you go. Romania, that's going to be ours as well. Nice. Now we got to do some more claim stuff here. That's not bad. I'll beat the living crap out of the Italians. Because we had to go to war with the Russians next, too, probably. All right, next, uh, Nicholas Bugold. Sure, why not? Oh, look at that guy's face, Ivan Leon. Oh my goodness! Please fix your face. There you go. That should this should actually make it extremely much more easy for us to do stuff here. All right, so how many men have we lost against the towns? Oh god, dang it's glitched. We can't see that. Sure, we'll have an aggression pact. Um. I'll be honest, man. That's kind of ugly. That is quite ugly. Whatever. Can you guys actually win here, maybe? Come on. I can't imagine the Italians being that strong. They have a lot of manpower, though. And quite a bit of equipment, but... Plane-wise? I can't... Oh, there goes... Oh, boy. Serbs doing gamer stuff. Oh, three guys right there, that's fine. At this point, I think we'll just start cutting you way, 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 way down. Just don't even make any more divisions for now. Nice. Anything else here? Cool. It is 42. It's almost 43. We're doing well here. Grab some more naval doctrine stuff. That'd probably be beneficial. And maybe some more air stuff too. 
Tactical bombers. Do we have any more tactical bombers at this point? Fighters, naval bombers, interwar bombers. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Send them on over if you can. Nice. Make sure everyone's got at least a little bit of bomb bombing action, we'll say. Put, get all the planes in there. Force them to go. Force them all to go. Italy's got to die. I don't care what the cost is, manpower-wise or not. We must have the SRI back. No more reactionaries here. I don't think they'll be able to keep up with us, though. Oh, look at that manpower. Nice. The German government exiles already want to go back to kill us. And the Russians probably want to kill us, too. Well, we'll see that in just a little bit, probably. Um, special forces, we could do that. Or we could do some recon. Yep. That's some more rubber. Man, we don't have a lot of places to build here, though. To be honest, not a lot of places to build. Good, 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 good. More territory so we can build stuff in, which is nice. Uh, radar, though, could be slightly improved, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Do some of that stuff. Anywhere down here we have anything? No. Can we build in allies? I still don't understand why we can't build in allies' territory. It doesn't make any sense why we can't. And, of course, we'll build a lot of stuff here, too, but we'll see what happens. And Peaceful Revolution. I want to keep doing some of this stuff on the right side. But let's do put the Austin Noel back on. The naval dockyards have for a long time been silent and abandoned in favor of military factories and civilian needs. Today, we will reinvest in those old Austin Noel, staff them again, and fund them so that we might once again have a navy that compares to one of the Republic. Nice. We got that stuff. Let's get some more of this stuff because we're using all sorts of air docking stuff. So, yeah, slowly we are punching a hole into. Oh, the Ottoman Empire joined. Wow. They actually won. Look at that. Well, maybe we have to push through the Cairo Pact then. Cairo Pact. Yeah, Italy. Yeah, this is a. I know you're trying to grind us out, but that's not going to be very good for you, son. We'll do that soon enough. The Caribbean. Actually, how's it? Canada, you're not looking good, son. I'll be honest, man. You're not looking good, especially if we find the CSA at the same time. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Oh, these guys are almost cut off. Almost completely cut off. Beautiful. Force them to die. Government staff for schools. Very good. Fall of Rome. Rome is finally ours. Beautiful. Cut them all off. They're trying to attack us here in Spain. What the heck? Oh, you must have lost a couple guys. That's fine. There you go. Must have lost a couple subs here. It's alright. Oh, they actually tried a naval invade, huh? It's a good thing we got Marines for this, then. Oh, National France. Well, they're just trying to give us a big old land border. I mean, we'll probably... And, uh, you know what? I might just go to war with Russia before we take out the Ottomans. Just because we can. Look at Italy. Pathetic. Boys, anti-tank rifle. Nice. Let's grab some interwar armored cars. It'll be good. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And we don't want to forget these guys as well. Taking out the Russians is going to be probably a big old slog, but that's alright. That's what we signed up for, right? Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you're going to help out there, too. For now, if we have any extra spare ships, just uh, convoys? No. Actually, we probably should make some more uh, improved carrier holes. Oh, boy. These have just got awful. Wow. There you go. And make some improved cruiser holes, maybe? Oh, God, these are garbage. Straight trash. Well, they're not that bad, actually. Could be a lot, 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 lot worse. 22 torpedoes. Actually, we do get... No, we only did get that much. We barely have enough for this. I do anti-sub stuff. No, we can't. Dang it. 
Uh, that one should be fine. Now. There you go. We need more naval XP now. I should make some destroyers too. There you go. Good luck. Make sure we do this too. Until someone else goes to war with us, which would really suck. Um, you guys, hang out down here, maybe. Actually, you know, leave. Oh, actually, we lost like three divisions here. Awesome. Oh, or maybe we converted those three. I guess I don't know. We'll see what happens. Fourth international. Ah, the Bulgarians are down here too. I see. It's all right. Cool. And then we'll have these guys to deal with as well. Deal with these guys. Donut Adrian Boone is still down there. And then these guys. So looking not too bad for us. I think we've done pretty, a pretty good job so far. Yeah, we got all sorts of people to deal with here, but, you know, it is what it is. And we made ourselves pretty powerful. In the, I'm not sure the Entente can really do too much. So the Entente, we got to kill off Canada, the Ottoman Empire, the French uh, the National State, and the Germans. God dang it, stupid Germans. And I'll go this. These guys too. Good. Military factories. Light tanks are not bad. We got to get some more medium tanks, though. I mean, realistically, we just got to get more of those. All right, let's do some of this, too. The Fate of Austria. Austria has been forced to capitulate, and our troops are patrolling the streets of Vienna to prevent a rebellion or anything else that could cause further instability. However, some have proposed that creating a local Austrian government would help be more helpful. Liberate them? How do we liberate them? Fate of Romania. The Romanian forces have finally capitulated to our superior might. The time has come to decide what to do with their lands. Just might as well liberate them. Fate of Italy. With the majority of the Italian peninsula under our control, it's up to us to decide what would become of the region. Will it be released as a single entity under our control? Powerful, but perhaps it's difficult to control? Or should we decide what to do with each part separately? Release the Social Republic of Italy as a puppet. Each region separately? No, no, no. It's better to have a stronger neighbor like this. And they'll probably get decisions for everyone over here as well. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, no, actually, no. We're not going to do that. Do we have still cores on... Oh, we took back... Yeah, that's good. Took back our rifle places here. The Italian Peninsula has been reunited. Welcome back. My only ambition is that is to be the first soldier of the Italian independence. Cool. Alright, so we got all these guys too. Uh, fate of Hungary. The Hungarian nation has been completely defeated. Our forces are policing the streets of Budapest and partisans are being detained all across the countryside. But, should this state of affairs remain permanent or should we, what should we do with Hungarian lands? Minimal Hungarian state? Let's get a big old Hungary state maybe. Big old Hungary state. Lots of land for these guys. Lots and lots of land. Beautiful. State of Croatia. The Croats are not taking their orders from us the way things should be. There is some resistance among them, but it will be crushed under our heels. Nevertheless, perhaps it might do, do grant it might do to grant the Croats a measure of autonomy. Liberate them. Non-domination lands through the Hungarian Social Republic. Um, let's see what happens with that. All right, that's really ugly. Fate of Bohemia. The ancient heartland of the Czechs has been conquered by victorious forces. The venerable gem of the Moldu, Prague, is occupied by troops who parade smartly across the Wenceslas Square. Should we prop up a Czech government to loyal to the designs of our own state or maintain a splendid military occupation? Liberate them. State of the Bruzia. We've taken control of the region of the Bruzia and now must decide what to do with it. Give it to who? Bulgaria. Split the area. Nah. We don't believe in helping these guys out down here. No, 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 no. Oh, do you have an actual... Daniel? Oh, yes. We mobilizing anymore? We are slowly still mobilizing just a little bit. And we're on total mobilization too, which kind of hurts us, but we'll probably actually go down to war economy soon enough to get some more manpower back. In addition, the fate of Trentino. We're taking control of the formerly Austrian territory of Trentino. We must decide what to do with it. Italian allies, hand it over to the Republic of Austria, divide it among our... You know what? I think dividing might be really good. Yeah, just because I don't want them to fight over it. Like, you can both, like, have a little bit of each. Austria can have that. Trentino can go to those guys. So, hand it over to the Republic of Austria. Yeah, I don't want the Austrians to have it just because they were reactionaries, though. Hmm. Hmm. We'll just divide it among. There you go. That's not too bad. I kind of like it like that. Serenica? No. I'm just going to do that anyway. So, cool. Hopefully, get through another focus. Hopefully, we have something about these guys to return Romanian lands. The French government has been discussing what to do with the Romanian lands we currently occupy. Land which, uh, which we have no rightful claim to. Should we return this land to them? Yes. We can have that. That's fine. Build dams in Savoy. Build dams in Hot Savoy. Cool. Oh, Malta's gone. Uh, I guess we'll put it under our administration for now, maybe. Build dams in Hot Savoy. Very nice. And we should have the Arsenal done very soon. Order stored in the Union of Denmark. Uh, if you'd like to read about this, just go right ahead. I mean, this happens with every single country, so I'm not too worried about that at all. Oh, yeah, we're still going to fight these guys, too. 
Uh, we'll get down there eventually. I mean, we need to go to war with these guys first, probably. And then kill the rest of these guys off, so... We haven't lost that many to everyone else. Uh, the new factions over here. Kingdom of Morocco would be nice to kill off. These guys, they've lost a lot of guys. Oh, they're still fighting the Egyptians. Oh, I like it. And these guys, oh yeah, they're still fighting all over. Oh, wow. Wow, what am I there? These guys flipped over? Nice. Nice. Now what about, oh, here we go, Fate of Malta. It has been brought under our leadership and our troops occupy the island. We must now decide what to do with it. Or transfer to our town ally. I don't want to bother with be bothered with the fate of Galicia. After a short campaign across Galicia, we managed to shatter the Galician defenses. Laval, Lviv is now in our hands. We must now decide on the future of it. Go and liberate them, that's fine for now. Fate of Bosnia. The d divided state of Bosnia is now under our occupation after our invasion of its territory. Our troops are now operating in Sarajevo, and we must decide to do what we want with it. That's fine. And the fate of Slovenia. Our troops have occupied the small region of Slovenia, and we must decide what to do with it. Liberate them, return the Slovene land to these guys. Uh, I'll just give it to them, because I want less lag. That's not too bad. My gosh, I made a beautiful Hungary. Red Army of Hungary, you bet we love the Red Army of Hungary. You bet we do. Oh yeah, I need to play Hungary sometime. Austrian Republic, led by Karl Lang. Or Lang. Yeah, status quo, no thank you. Dolphus is Austrian nation. And you guys led by Georgia, Georgiou. Doing air production stuff, so good, good, good. Uh, we have a very small Galicia Lodomeria, that's alright. Or the Union, Igor Coter. No unique focus tree, but that's okay. And we have the Czechia, Rafael Franco. Cool. Very cool. And of course, I gave these guys these guys. Maybe I should have not given it to Poland. That's eh, alright for now. We'll beat the Polish up soon enough, so not bad. Oh, look at that! An armored uh, cruiser. Provide armored cruiser. Sunk. As it should be. So now we're going to focus on uh, building up probably a lot more ships. Oh, look at that. We have interwar heavy hull, huh? We will have to fight the Russians, but what else? We have the fate of... Oh. Austrian littoral. We're taking control of the formerly Austrian territories of Istria and Gorizia Grazica. We should figure out what we want to do. These are turns right. Um, hmm, given this Italy would just make them strong. Given that Austria would make them have a very... Very small, weak navy, so give it to Italy. I don't want to be bothered with it. That's just better overall. And do they have cores on that? They do, so that's actually really, really beneficial for us. Part the also node back on. You can do that just because we have so much PP. And we shall do what? We shall do Commune of Virtue. Our Republic of Virtue was, theory, was a theory devised by Robespierre that justified the use of violence for defending the nation. Well, as we deal with political enemies, we shall enforce a society of liberty and equality for those who are loyal to Torres. Very nice. The resistance record goes down by 200%. I love it. Well, my friends, well, I've already gone ahead and we finished the Commune of Virtue. And I've already done the new worker. Mental slavery has kept the worker obedient to tyranny. We in our crusade for justice have set the free the worker. Love of money has been replaced with love of labor. Duty to the nation has replaced duty to oneself. And honest hard work has replaced the lazy vices of reactionaryism. Very cool. Look at all that good stuff. But I've already done communism with French characteristics. The syndicalism having been swept into the waste bin of history. Communism has been reborn anew. A phoenix rising from the ashes and regain its place as a paramount leftist ideology. But to truly embrace this position, communism has been reborn, following in the traditions of the French revolutionary predecessors. Very nice, which we've just done, and we shall begin to export the revolution. If France is to be the standard bearer of international socialism, we cannot sit idly around waiting for the reactionaries to come to us, but instead we must take the fight to the entire world this very moment. When the general fear is under control, the Jacobins will look to the rest of the world for ideological expansion. Friendly nations will receive armaments and supplies. Torres declares the new revolution a victorious. It has been the dream of the revolutionaries throughout the eras of modern France to build a nation of liberty, equality, and fraternity. The Fr Paris Commune came close to this as they embraced the spirit of a united proletariat. This is where the syndicalist Commune of France failed. It was unable to direct itself with a unified vision, the squabbling of political factions, and halted all progress. However, now with a centralized leadership under Torres, the true revolution, French revolution, I should say, has been achieved. The legacy of the Jacobins, Communards, and Marx himself are in our hands, and our Commune of Virtue cannot fail. Liberty, Egality, Fraternity. Which right now, we've actually gone ahead and navally invaded the North, North Africa. And as you can see, we're doing really, really well. Uh, actually, we have the Commune of Morocco here, which I gave to Iberia, just because I don't want to deal with it. Even though I really should have taken it so we could have improved um, infrastructure, but whatever. And as you can see, we're doing a pretty good job against the reactionary, evil, fake French Reno. So, artillery upgrade is good. It's May 30th, 1943. Let's grab some more anti-air, and we're improving our tanks as well. Even though these guys are taking a lot of hits, even though I made these guys 40 combos, but we're using a lot of light tanks in here too, so. When Constantine falls, hopefully this will be the end of this group here, and I would like to invade 
Cypress, just in case. Ace Blood Promoter, very nice. Even though Canada refused to die, there you go. Very nice, very, very nice. Of course, we gotta kill all these guys off, that's alright. Machine Assisted Decryption, very cool. Machine Assisted Decryption, very nice. Alright, so, because I want to invade these guys, we really gotta do something like this. And then we gotta do something like that. Hopefully this helps. This does lower their entrenchment, which is actually really, really good. So, um, there you go. Because I really just want to be able to destroy all these guys here, so. That's a, oh my, oh, okay, they just pieced out. Cool. So I think what we'll do is that I'll just take everything here so we can make sure we can administer things uh, pretty successfully, so. Thank you. Nice. And no. Oh, and we're still sinking a lot of things around here, which is awesome, 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 awesome. These guys are still fighting. Canada is still not falling, but they invaded through Quebec. What are we missing? Oh, medium tanks, which makes sense. Cool. And who's leading the Union of Britain now? Oh, they invaded up here, huh? Oh, Canada. Uh, Eric Blair, huh? All right, very cool. All right, so we got a lot of decisions to make up here. Still training a lot of divisions, but I would like to navally invade, if possible, that direction. So let's take you guys off of here, here. And head on over here as well. Looking not too bad for the Navy. Our Admiral is doing a very nice job, I would say. Hate to follow these guys. Return Moroccan lands. The French government has been discussing what to do with the Moroccan lands we currently occupy. Land which we have no rightful claim to. Should we return the lands to our Moroccan allies? Maybe. In the meantime, let's head on down here. And take out these German soldiers. And maybe we can get down to the government down here, which would probably be actually a really good thing to do. Uh, let's see. Mali, da da da, now's your... Oh, Union? Montenegro, huh? Alright. Yeah, they're fighting against those guys. Eh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Could you guys actually win? Well, we'll see. Oh, we could, finally we can go to war these guys too. Thank goodness. You guys are all ready to go, and we're happy to oblige. The destruction of the Social Democratic Swiss Confederation. What a bunch of reactionaries. They've got to go. Beautiful, my friends. The World Revolution is becoming alive. As it should. Now, good. Beat these people up. Uh, sure, come on in. Entente to probably join... Oh, no, they didn't join anybody. 12,000, huh? Not bad, not bad. And we'll deal with this soon enough, but... Return Moroccan lands. Go ahead, do that. It's fine. The French government has been discussing what to do with the Moroccan lands we currently occupy. Land which we have no rightful claim to. Should we return the land to them? Yes, we should. You can have it. Together, brothers in liberation. Against these reactionaries. I'm not sure what else we call them. Oh, did we kill them? I hope we did. We go ahead and start improving a lot of the area around here, because, my goodness, territory around here sucks. Oh, I don't need that one. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, we're running out of things to build, so just keep building a lot, like, a lot of stuff up. So I'm not sure who to take out first. Either Russia or the Ottomans. I do... If we can get a nice, secure foothold down there... Oh, agent capture. That's not good. Uh, if we get a, a nice, secure landing in the Ottoman Empire, I don't mind taking them out first. There you go. Good luck. Sure. All right. Nice. Um, you guys in the Cairo Pact. I don't want to do the Cairo Pact yet. Oh, we actually even made it successfully. Cool. Good. I don't want to pull all you guys over here. But we do need to try to naval invade somewhere here. Um... bad and oh lots of convoy whatever those guys should be doing relatively okay oh struggling a little bit here but that's all right actually not all of you guys are moving in um can you take baron burn baron a lot of divisions no manpower though which is a good thing i'd recommend getting out of the desert regions there so come on down over to the boot or the heel of Italia. Mm, come on. There we go. Uh, I don't mind it. Antalya might be really good to try to invade, maybe. Maybe. Uh, war propaganda. We don't really need to do that. We should have these guys done very, very soon. Come on, guys. Keep moving in. I did convert some of these guys to 40 combo with infantry, so we should do relatively okay. 
Oh, we could do this too, but I want to wait maybe go to some more infrastructure first, you know? Hmm, they're not looking good down there. If these guys die, that gives us another direct access line through here, so. Huh. Exploring the revolution would be good, good, good. Oh my goodness, guys. How are you not winning? Guys, you're all supposed to go, right? High level bombing. Yeah, high level bombing. Nice. And we're done with the air doctrine. Great. The air doctrine, let's keep doing sub stuff because I love subs. We have absolute air dominance. Plenty of damage being done to them, but you know, so it's not super easy to take out. Hmm. Bastille Day is pretty nice. A few weeks left for that. Come on. Well, oh, we almost have Baron. Almost. Ah, we got burn off, it looks like. No, not quite. Oh, uh, but it's gone. It's ours now. Uh, we'll probably just put it up between everyone here. If we can. Thank you. Cool. Hope we get event. And... Build the arms in Romandy? Sure, why not? Is no one doing anything down there? What the heck, guys? You just gave up on that. The 4th International? Uh, the 4th International will be found and replaced in Fracture 3rd International. Cool. We could do that. Declare war on capitalism. We can do this one. Eradicate nationalism. Nationalism is a scourge of mankind. The world must uh, must be united under the banner of socialism and nations must be destroyed. A uh, Niger? Uh, sure. If you want to do about this, go right ahead. From the state. Uh, I don't want to hurt ourselves, so we can do that. Senegambia? Why not? If you like to read about this, uh, the port of Dakar, formerly the most important part of the West, French West Africa, has fallen to repeated assaults and fell with it the full colony of Senegal, including the four French communes fell. But this change in ownership became more problems as the scope of French administrators left the territory, leaving us with an organizational void. Should we create a loyal satellite state here to alleviate our problems? Absolutely. It's going to make the game like so much harder. Uh, if you like to read about the rest of these, please go right ahead, but here we go. And I don't want to lose any more stability, so Algeria? Sure. Mali? Or Guiani? Guinea? Sure. More Mauritania. Yes, please. At least we can still build up infrastructure here, so that's not too bad. Guinea. Cool. We don't have to deal with that anymore. Oh, wait, we don't even get to build infrastructure. Oh, come on, man. That's stupid. Can we build infrastructure there? There we go. We don't even own that area, so once these guys show up again. That'd be good. Are the tanks down here? Yes, they are. That is delightful. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Nice. Cannons. 43. Uh, stream online. Now let's get some more rubber. Rubber, 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 rubber. There we go. Nice. Niger is gone. Switzerland. Oh. Baratian, Baratian comrades. Torres has instructed the military to prepare large quantities of armaments to be transported across to the Baratian comrades. He hopes these guests to per will persuade them to support the land in the struggle for the international revolution. Nice. And the same thing for Georgian comrades. Nice. And Mexican comrades. Nice. Face Switzerland. After fierce fighting in the Alpine Mountains, we finally conquered Switzerland. The Swiss army surrendered. Their territory is under our control. What should we do with these lands that we now control? Remain the Romandie Legion. Uh, yeah. We're taking Romandie. That sucks. Parliamentary speech. Yeah, that makes much more sense for us on this. No, it's not a core, but whatever. Um, you guys, at this point, you probably want to just border, like... Uh, oh, that's, oh, wait, we, have, we own a piece of territory down there, too. Look at that. German Social Republic is pretty nice. Let's do something like that for now, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. We we'll probably need you guys down here anyways, but how strong are these guys? A uh, lot of manpower. Uh, equipment, not too much. All right, then. Oh, bad idea to throw you guys here, but hey, we'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah, look at our allies. They're already over here. I, think, I love the Union Britain. They're doing such a good job. Now, we're not going to move out yet. We might actually go here, though. Maybe get the roads. It'd be kind of cool. Group anti air. Better medium tanks. Uh, weapons for Nigerian resistance. Sure. George Bush is still over there. Very nice, very nice. Where are the tanks? Fall Detroit, a blow to the syndicalists for sure. Wait, what? Guys, don't lose Detroit. What's going on with these guys? Do you want to join our faction or not? No, I can't really tell. 
It's a million manpower. They have like extensive conscription. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely a struggle between them. So as soon as it takes land, we got to start building some naval bases here, though. Good. All right, tanky boys. As soon as you land, you got to hit the ground running. Go, go, go. Take all the ports. We're going to need a lot of supplies for these tanks. Nice. Good. Keep going, keep going. Ah, get another port. Great. So, to take out the Ottomans. It's the Ottomans and the Germans and... The, oh, God, the Australasians. Advanced carrier of cruiser hulls. Nice. We're going to grab... um Probably this one. Less chance for us ships to die, which is a very, very good thing to have. Can you guys actually go over there and get some more supply? That'd be really great. Keep going, keep going. Our allies are doing great jobs thus far. So many different nations here. Wow. Um, sure, we can do some of the speeches. We lose some political power. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah this is good. We've killed off a lot of them. 150,000. Not nearly enough, but still a lot. I'm trying to build up more medium tanks as well, because we need 4,400. Holy crap. Save a little bit more on that. Thank you. Thank you. Cancel Lend Lease. That's fine with me. Romandi. Build some more civvies so we can trade for more stuff away. Thank you. Don't think the audience can really do anything, especially when they have, like, literally no guns. So, excavation. Let's grab some more fuel. Nice, we got him. Twenty. Save some more of our factories. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Um, you can guys. Oh, 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 oh! No wonder they don't have a lot of, you know, equipment. They took over Iran as well. They could have liberated them, I think. But all right. Uh, where are you guys going to? Anything? Anywhere? No? Alright. Wow, convoys. Oh, they're really trying to shuffle over a lot of ships, huh? Oh, but their convoys keep going kaboom. I love when their ships go kaboom. Oh, 11, 13, 16, 20? How many convoys were there? I don't like it just tells you they lost one. They literally lost at least 20. Integration of Luxembourg, look at that. The former imperial state of Luxembourg is now firmly integrated into a growing nation. Great. We lose some political power, but what is political power to a nation that doesn't care about political power? Minus 4,500, not good. But we're looking good on everything else. Quite literally, everything on else. Uh, 43, got some net vision, not bad. I guess there's some more tanks around here, but, uh, or just divisions. Konya. Uh, I can do some of the stuff right there. Maybe get some air bases here as well. That could probably be really, really useful. Get some more supplies through here too, probably. Ooh. Build, build, build. All right, anything else around here? You guys are already doing that stuff. I'm gonna maybe pull another infantry army down. I'll send you because you're a full stack of 24 divisions. Head on down here, guys. Because once you take out those guys, we might just go to war with these guys anyways to so get down to Germany much faster. Eradicate nationalism. Declare war on capitalism. Uh, we can wait. Let's, be, let's wait on that a little bit more. The old doctrine. Convoy defense. New doctrine. Trade interdiction. Well, we went with fleet and bing. Battleships. Um, let's do a stop from air bases. Let's do this one. Uh, Saint Exupéry doctrine. Antoine de Saint Exupéry is a brilliant aviator, and he has much to teach us about this new, strange world of aerial warfare. While his words are no gospel, we heavily rely on his unique experience and aim to make his teachings a frame of future air doctrine as start. Certainly. Good. Kind of escorts. Let's get some of this. Nice. Even though we're not releasing really those, but that's okay. Yeah, we're doing really, really well here. Really, really well. And circle and destroy, thank you. Yeah, I'll have to go to war with these guys too. Just push through here. How's it land? How's it? What are you doing? Not much, huh? Let's just say, can you please take out Canada? Can someone, someone please just destroy these guys too? How is the PSA still fighting? 
They don't have that much manpower left. Firefighting drills are nice. Um, modern heavy holes. Uh, light ships. I'm gonna do some light ship stuff, I guess. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're actually on the front lines. You already made it on there. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job, Renos. Oh, God. There's so many places that we need to build and do more stuff, but oh, my goodness. Uh, Constantinople's going to be pretty hard to take. They've got back all this land already. Um, go in there, guys. Just do it like that. Wow. We are just kind of trucking through everywhere here, huh? Can you guys actually win, go right here? Because we can start killing these guys off. Maybe. Wow, that's a lot of divisions, guys. Wow. That's a bit extreme, I would say. Hundred twenty five days, so be it. It is what it is. Yeah, um getting kinda of crazy around here. Um, kind of already is crazy, but you know, whatever. Hold. There you go, you'll definitely win there, and these guys will die too. Hopefully we actually actually can break across here, maybe. Nah, we're too weak. Let them just do what they want for now. Take all this other area out. Can we still capitulate them without the capital? We might not be able to. Huh. That's not good. There you go. Try that. Ooh, there's a lot. Of, oh, did someone capitulate maybe? Oh, yeah. Someone did capitulate. Peace conference is over. Nice. Is it the Entente? Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, boy. Um, whoa, 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 Hold on. Hold the phone. Third International. Who are we fighting? Oh. No faction. The faction is dead. Wait, why is that? Kingdom of Canada. Um, I'm, I mean, I don't like that at all. Uh, can we get some military access? Oh, that's good. Okay, that's good. Uh, but I don't like that. Hmm. We don't get anything? Hmm. Well, it's a good thing we're going to kill them anyway, so let's get our guys out of here. But I think we'll just end the episode here. I still want to go to war with the Russians, but that'll probably happen next episode, and we'll try to make it pretty quick. But we'll see what happens, you never know. But regardless, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully the last episode. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.